I have a black hand towel that I cut in half long ways so that when I fold it together and sew it shut after the design is put on, that will make I have hood. a full size bath towel. This is one of the Room Essentials fast dry bath towels at I Target. I have black anti-pill fleece from Joanne. I have a nude colored jersey fabric and iron on fleece is ironed on you to the You will also of need it. a small piece of white anti-pill fleece for I have the pink eyes. Cotton, pink polka dotted cotton with iron on fleece on the back of it as well. Several sheets of tear away stabilizer ready and to go. Tear away water soluble stabilizer. We're ready to do our first step for Mrs. Mouse. I have the hoop already set on my machine. Inside the hoop I have a piece of tear away stabilizer. Floating on top of the hoop, I have a black piece of anti-pill fleece. I've cut it into a rectangle and placed it on the hoop, and I'm ready to do the first tack down on the ear. I've done the first tack down for Mrs. Mouse's ears. Now I'm going to take the excess of the fleece and fold it over top of where I've already done that tack down. I'm going to now put it back on the machine for the final stitch. We have finished the final step for Mrs. Mouse's ears. Now all I need to do is pull away the tearaway stabilizer and cut along the edge of the ear. Once I get this cut, I'm going to flip it right side out and I will show you what it looks like when we're done. I have stitched out both sets of ears and turned them both right side out through the openings. Now I'm ready to do the bow for Mrs. Mouse. I have hooped my stabilizer and I am floating a piece of cotton with the fusible fleece backing on the back side of it just to give it a little bit more stability to hold itself up once we are finished with the bow. I'm going to place it onto the machine to do the tack down. It will also, as a second step, it will also add some details to the insides of the bows, and I will show you what that looks like when we're done we stitching We have that out. stitched the placement line for the bow, and we've also done the stitch for the detailing on the inside of the bow. Now I'm going to fold over the excess piece of cotton that I have, and I am going to do the tack downs for the other side of the bow so that I can flip them right side out. When I'm done with this, I will show you I what we've done. I have stitched out both sides of the bow. I've gone ahead and I've turned one of them right side out, as you can see here. And I've left the other one. I cut it out, leaving a bit of a seam allowance so as not to cut into the stitch line. And I'm going to turn it right side out through this hole here. You can use a pencil, a screwdriver, anything that you have handy that can fit in there to help push this through. I start pushing it through by hand and then when I get to a point where I can't push it through by hand anymore, I use this tool and I push it into the corners to push the end pieces out. And when you're done, you will have two sides of the bow. I am ready to put Mrs. Mouse's face on the towel. I like to put my designs at the very edge of the towel and in order for me to do this I need to find where the bottom of that design is going to hit on the stabilizer so that I can place my towel. I am using the Brother 770 so I'm going to show you how you can get your design right up to that edge. I select the image that I'm using, open it up, and then I hit adjust, and then layout. You're going to see the needle with the outline arrow. I'm going to click on that. You can find, by opening this up, you can find where the, at the corners of your designs are, where the very top of your design is. You can also find the center bottom, and that's what I want to find. You can crank the hand wheel 
and that will lower the needle into the stabilizer. And what that does is that will leave a hole showing you where to place I've your towel. I've taken my hoop off of the machine and I am going to mark with a pencil where I dropped that needle into the stabilizer. I am now going to take this hoop and put it into a box and spray some Elmer's Craft Bond spray glue onto my stabilizer to help hold my towel in place. And yes, this is what your hoop looks like if you use a spray adhesive. It is easy to wash off. I, it does not harm your hoop at all. And I will do another video to show how to clean spray glue I've off of your hoop. I've misted my stabilizer with a little bit of the Craft Bond spray glue. Now I'm ready to place the towel. I am going to take the edge of my towel and put it right up against the dot that I made in the center bottom and I'm also going to line it up with the notches that are come on your hoop from the factory. Once I get this lined up where I want it to go, I give it a little bit of a rub to make sure that it's in place and flip it and do the same on the other side. Now my towel is in place and I'm ready to put it onto the machine to add my I have the towel on the machine and I've placed the placement stitch for where I want the ears to go. My secret to keeping them in place is tape. I use a little bit of tape and I set the ears where I want them and I rub the tape to hold them down. When I do my tack down stitch, it will go right over the tape. Sometimes I have to use a pencil to hold it down. Um, I have some through my fingers, so you want to keep your fingers out of the way. I have done the tack down on the ears. It, it stitched right over the tape. I've gone ahead and pulled away the tape on this ear so that I could show you that it does leave a little bit of the fabric after the stitching. What you're going to do is you're just going to take your applique scissors and as close to that line as possible, you're going to trim it away. I have stitched out Mrs. Mouse's face. Now I'm ready to put on the water soluble stabilizer. I'm using a medium weight water soluble stabilizer. I have already sprayed it with the Elmer's Craft Bond spray glue and I'm just going to rub it in place make sure that none of the corners come up and get caught on the needle. Now I'm going to do the satin stitches around the face and arms. I have done all the satin stitches as well as the placement stitch for the bows. Now I'm going to line my bows up on the placement line that I have used a piece of out. tape to hold it down. And I'm going to put that right over the line so that when it stitches back over it, I make sure that okay, it will both catch. pieces are taped down. I'm going to take it over to the machine and stitch them down as well as do the center part for the bow. I will be right back and show I've you done what we did. the tack down for the two pieces of the bow. And after it tacked it down, I, on the inside, I cut away the excess fabric. Then I placed on the center of the bow and I have done the tack down for that. And as close to the line as possible where it stitched it down, I cut that with my applique scissors. I'm now going to take this back over to the machine so that it can do the satin stitch around the outside I of the bow. I finished stitching up our Mrs. Mouse towel. I've done the satin stitch on the inside of the bow as our last step. Now I'm ready to take her off of the hoop. Now I need to take off the water soluble stabilizer. You can do that by simply pulling it away or you can also a use wet washcloth and dab at the areas that are giving you a hard time coming off. Sometimes the nose area will, will stick a little bit. On the back, tear away the tear away stabilizer and cut away any 
jump stitches and just loose pieces of thread that are sticking up. Now you're ready to close up your towel and make her into a hooded towel. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe so you can see what new videos we are coming out with. Thanks, bye!